Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This time, we're also discussing a spring 2021 anime, my, my final little discussion about it, um, until next season ends because of how long the current other anime is running. And I'll get to that at the end, so don't worry about that. Today, we are discussing a couple of cuckoos. And these are my final thoughts regarding the show. But you might be asking yourself, uh, Plygon, the, uh, show has 24 episodes, and it's only at, like, episode 8-ish or something. I forgot exactly where it's at, but, uh, yeah, you're correct. However, it's on episode 12, sorry. Also, yeah, I just can't be bothered to watch it anymore. Uh, I think I got everything I need. I came to a point where I realized, oh yeah, that's why I stopped reading the manga and got disinterested by it. And that was uh, it. <clears throat> so this show is about Nagi, the guy with the black hair there, and Erica, the girl with uh, the pinkish hair there, with the, the twin tails. And basically them being switched at birth, their families discovering this, and while they're in high school, they, you know, meet up and their parents basically make them fiancés. Uh, so they immediately do not want to be fiancés, but they kind of are forced to go along with their parents' wishes in a way, but also, like, it, it's weird. Like, they kind of like each other, but kind of don't. And uh, there's other people that they like as well, so it gets even weirder. And then there's more people who come in who, like, add to the huge hodgepodge of he likes her, she likes him. Kind of nonsense that goes around, right? <clears throat> well, the main thing here that is the factor is you got the main two characters here in the middle. You got uh, them. But then you also have that purple-haired girl who Nagi likes. And he's trying to impress her. But there's drama that comes up revolving her. And then there's also drama that comes up involving uh, Nagi's little sister, who's technically not blood-related because he was switched at birth and she wasn't. Um, and, man, I just do not like drama at all. And... It's not even, like, really relating to these three characters and, like, the, the harem-type stuff that occurs uh, that is a drama that I don't like. It, it comes into play a little bit later where there's, like, mysteries left unsolved or, like, that very, very easily. One of the adult characters could be like, hey, so this is what's going on. Um, there you go. But instead, the adult character is like, Haha, I'm not going to tell you. And it's like, buddy, just fuck off. Okay? Like, it just adds to a bunch of confusion. And, like, it's, it, it's so weird. Because the adult <clears throat> character, uh, who is Nagi's actual father, uh, he tells Nagi at the beginning to do one thing. And then, like, halfway through, tells him to do another thing. And so... It's just weird. Don't get me wrong, the show has its moments, and it is pretty decent at times, but just the, the, the drama that comes up later on and the like whole... I don't like the purple-haired girl, is what I'm trying to say. I don't like her. Uh, she's not a huge cause of drama, but kind of... Maybe, maybe she fucking is at, later on, but uh, it's just... I can't. I just cannot. And that's why, after 12 episodes in, actually, I think I'm like only 10 episodes or maybe even 8 episodes in. I forget um, <clears throat> exactly where I quit watching. The last one I remember is they went shopping. That's the last one that I uh, recall watching. Uh, so I think that was episode 8. But anyway... After that, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember now why I dropped the manga and stopped reading it. And so I was like, I'm going to pass because I do not want to have to watch the drama unfold week 
by week, especially with what anime like to do, where they like to leave cliffhangers at the end of <clears throat> episodes. And then you're like sitting there for a week, like, God damn it. What are we doing? Come on. You know? And so I was just like, nah, I'm going to pass. Now it is 24 episodes. So it is still going to go on for the rest of this summer season as well. So if it is something that is interesting to you, if you're interested in you know, romance that involves drama and all that fun stuff, well, then this is the show for you. It's actually rated higher um, on my anime list than Shikimori is a cutie, which I would 100% disagree with. Um, I mean, I don't think either of them should be as high as they were scored to begin with anyway, but neither here nor there. But yeah, not a fan. I'm uh, not watching the rest of the season. And, as I always do, if I say that there's uh, going to be a second season, <clears throat> I would not watch the second season if there is one. Uh, I figured I would just add that there, since I usually say that in the rest of the anime. But yeah. Thank God the summer season has some decent romance shows. Because if it did not, ugh. This, this whole season, summer, or not, the, the spring season of anime was really kind of lackluster for romance. Uh, I'll be completely honest. Uh, there were a couple that were okay, but this one, the summer season, is cute. Anyway, as I mentioned in the beginning here, the last show that we have to discuss is Summertime Rendering. However, Summertime Rendering is also 24 episodes, and to be honest, I've stopped watching it, but not because of, like, this one, where I uh, didn't like it. I decided, since it's going to last a season anyway, what I would do is stop watching Summertime Rendering and just pause it, and wait until all the episodes come out, and then binge that bastard. You know what I mean? So I'm up to episode 10 on Summertime Rendering or summertime render, whatever. And so when all 25 episodes are out, I will binge them, and then do a review on them. I actually apparently have 25 episodes, according to this, so that's, that's cool too. Uh, so we got a couple more weeks for that. Expect summertime renderings to come out uh, pretty much at the end of summer 2022 as well. But uh, yeah, because I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm real in on summertime render like it, it's great so far and that is why specifically i don't want to have to wait a week to watch the next episode i want to just watch it all at once and so that's why i'm stopping but everyone that's all for me so after this video it's gonna be nothing but that sweet sweet summer 2022 oh yeah Oh my god, let me tell y'all, mm, there have been so many great shows so far for summer 2022. So many great ones. And a lot of ones that I was not expecting to be so great. So look forward to when I do my first impressions of those. Uh, next week, I think, is when it starts. Although I already did one, as uh, my Isekai Life had two episodes already. So, but yeah, until next time, everyone. I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now.